The message parameter section of the SignusTrack device simulator contains all the basic location information about your device that you're going to send to SignusTrack. We've made this about as easy as possible by filling in most of this stuff for you when you just click on the interactive map on the right side of the screen. Uh, but let's take a quick look at how you can create a simulated tracking session and what each of these parameters here is for. Uh, you'll want to start by choosing a device from the Select a Device drop-down list here. This list comes pre-filled with all the tracking devices that you've set up in your actual Cygnus Track account. Once you've picked a device, the map is going to update to show you the last recorded position for that device, which is represented by the blue pin icon. Now you can click anywhere on the map, it doesn't matter where, to set a new location for this device. And when you do that, you'll see a little blue blip appear on the map at the point where you clicked. At the same time, all of these fields here in the message parameters section get filled in with information about that point. And you have the longitude and latitude coordinates, uh, the altitude and heading, a speed, and the GPS date time expressed in UTC. Uh, the device simulator automatically fills in the longitude, latitude, and GPS date time for you based on when and where you clicked on the map. And it just pulls the date and time from your local computer. Uh, but these other fields can be edited, if you like, in order to create a more realistic mock session. For example, you might want to adjust the speed or the heading, or you might want to set an altitude if you're simulating an aircraft's movements. Uh, when you're done configuring the parameters for this location, go ahead and click the Send Message button at the bottom of the screen, and the location will be sent to your CygnusTrack web portal account via the CygnusTrack device gateway. And you'll see a confirmation message here to that effect. Now, you can continue building an entire mock session by continuing to click on the map, uh, configuring your parameters over here if you want, change the speed there, and clicking Send Message again. And you'll do this once for each new location point on the map. And uh, you can send as many location points to Cygnus Track for each session that you want. And I'll just send a couple more. Now, when you're finished building the session, come over here to Cygnus Track and log in to your uh, Cygnus Track web portal account. Uh, head over to the tracking screen. And uh, when you do, you'll want to find the device that you just created that session for. In this case, I was using uh, Think Geo Device 1. And then click the Zoom button to see all of those location points you just plotted on your map, just as if the device had actually been out there driving around. Additionally, you can click on any one of these points to see additional information about it that was passed in from the device simulator, including the date, time, speed, uh, coordinates. You'll even get uh, address information if you're in the U.S., and potentially lots of other stuff, too. Uh, so this is a really useful way uh, to see how Cygnus Track works or to test out the functionality of a custom device listener that you've developed and lots more besides.